And a big two game set begins. We are underway from downtown St. Paul. Theodore with it for Vegas and his pass to flex up and out of play. Battle to Frisov wins it, gets it out to Dumba out front. Hartman on the backhand denied by Leonard. Great pressure from the Wild here about three minutes in. Parisi pushed it around for Suter. He's unable to come up with a loose puck. And Polisar got it out to center ice. Martinez goes, defenseman goes out and grabs a stick here for Robin Leonard. Here comes Eric Sinek, he scores! And the Wild on the board first! What was going on in the neutral zone? I was wa watching Robin Leonard to see if he could get his stick in place. Obviously, he could not get it in place. Had it turned the wrong way, the defenseman gave it to him. Martinez upside down there, so there was not a whole lot he could do. Erickson Eck realizes that. There's no stick in between his pad. As Theodore, his long deflected shot goes wide. McNabb has his shot broken up by Foligno. Going to be some heavy shifts between these two lines, and they score. Theodore beats Talbot. There was a lot of traffic in front of the Minnesota net that win the battle on the wall. Well, they're identical players, and again, we talked about Mark Stone, his ability to find the open player. The wild winger just a little bit out of position, and we know the Vegas Golden Knights defensemen, they like to jump up and get a get involved in the forecheck, and Janmark does a great job of getting in top, in top of uh, Jan Janmark. And so this one probably shows it a little bit better. I don't think he impeded Talbot's ability to, to stop the puck. I thought maybe when he spun Jan After Coach's challenge, the call on the ice stands, we have a good goal. Minnesota's challenge with a delay of game. Golden Knight winger got great wood on that shot. Carlson got it through to Smith. Smith cross ice, they score. Second time they got it through to Martinez. This time he beats Talbot on the short side. And the power play goal has Vegas in front, 2-1. Nice little play, realizes he's got a little time and goes right between Nick Bonino's feet. And Martinez takes his time. He doesn't just one time it like he did the first time. He realizes he's got a little time. I'm gonna shoot it short side. If I make a perfect shot, I'm gonna to to find myself these teams have been two of the highest scoring teams lately. Minnesota averaging 4.3 during their 10 game stretch and they add one here, we're even. The original shot came from the point. Bonino looks like he may have tipped it on the way and it's 2-2. Not a difficult save, is not able to handle this cleanly and Nick Bonino gets in inside position on Theodore. Nifty pass across. Got it to Brodine, who plays it down into the Vegas zone. But Waugh quickly back, and here's Peyton Krebs. Krebs got it to Tuck, moving in, he scores! Tuck somehow got this one right through Cam Talbot, and it's 3-2 Vegas. Get his pad out, and Alex Tuck, that looks to me like they might have a look at that. Could have been offside, using his speed through the neutral zone. Great speed for a guy that's 225 pounds. That one just slides over top of the left pad. Ryan Suter, pressured by Carrier, got it to Spurgeon. Cross ice intercepted by Stevenson. Stevenson back to Stone, a shot, he scores! A bad turnover by Jared Spurgeon, and Mark Stone beats Talbot, it's 4-2 Vegas. I'm sure that clean exits happened tonight because there had been a whole lot of turnovers against the St. Louis Blues, and. This is a guy that you do not want to turn the puck over against. Mark Stone, one of the best passers in the NHL, but also knows how to finish as well. And that's a big goal for the Vegas Golden Knights. Fiala fires, that deflects wide. Spurgeon hustles over and holds his own. Into the corner, Kaprizov. Rask, back to Kaprizov. Spurgeon, a drive, he scores! And the power play will continue with Minnesota down by one. The net, Jared Spurgeon shoots the puck high, fluttering just a little bit, and yes, catches Nick Bonino. Petrangelo, Dewan and out to center, Carlson controls. Carlson carrying in, has Martinez across, and Marcheseau scores. Now the referee didn't signal goal on the first one,
think he thought it caught the crossbar, but Marcia So and Talbot both knew it was in. Crowd still on the officials here. Off the wall, here comes Felino just out of the penalty box. Felino in on the breakaway. Save letter and the rebound and knocked away just before Kaprizov could get there. In the penalty box, and this is just, oh my, this is downtown. You're like, oh my goodness, here we go. All kinds of time to think. Does a great job moving it back to his forehand. And Robin Leonard. Robin Leonard's really impressed me tonight. I didn't think he had this kind of athleticism. Decides to go for the poke check, misses, but is able to stay with it and just keep his right pad. Got it taken away by Tuck and a sliding save by Talbot that keeps Minnesota in it. Now Ras pokes it ahead. He has Fiala with him. Ras drops Benito. Center. Fiala saved by Leonard Rebound. They score. Rask on the rebound and it's 5-4. Finishes an outnumbered situation through the neutral zone. Victor Rask. Has the puck on his backhand. Nice little pass here. This all happened in slow motion. Kevin Fiala was unable to shovel the first one home. Leonard makes a big save. Was able to find the rebound and cash in to make this a one goal game. And let's not forget the save that Cam Talbot made on. Coach, he's looking at Cam Talbot and that's Dean Evison. He'll be looking for hand signals. There it is, Next there's the signal. Talbot has to hold his ground. Fiala fires, save, rebound, they score! The thrill does it again! And we're even 5-5! Five, five. This guy do this all year. Great second effort off of the face-off. Again, who's the first guy in on the face-off to create havoc? Kirill Kaprizov, now it's time to get to the front of the net. Maybe there's some loose change. Popping around, and yes, there is. Look who comes up with the puck, too. Kevin Fiala just buries the puck up over top of Robin Leonard. Seen it all year long. It started from game one. Greenway back of the net. Tried to center. Greenway again, and Felino had left the slot. Brodina shot. He scores! Unbelievable! It's 6-5 Minnesota. Nevison being the head coach of this team, he's allowed him to get involved in the offense much more than with other coaches, just shovels the puck toward the net. This puck is rolling and is difficult for any goaltender to handle. Looks like might eclipse something on the way in. I don't know if that hit Stone on the way in or not, but huge smiles for Matt Dumba and Jonas Brodeen. Petrangelo a shot, saved by Talbot. Sturm with a heavy hit along the wall. Petrangelo holds his shot blocked and the 